Hi, this is Jonathan here at the Nottingham Drumming Guitar Centre and today we're going to look at active speakers. Very, very versatile. We're going to go through some of the scenarios where you'd use one of these speakers. But basically these are the ones. This is a brand called Mackie. The model is a 450 and a really, really good speaker. We're now getting too technical. The 500 watts RMS. What does that mean? It means they're loud and they do sound really, really good. Now, we said active, that means that the amplification is all built into them. And this is part of the amplification here. So, they need to be plugged into the wall when we give you those cables. These are fantastic. Let's say you're having a kids party, 25, 30 kids coming round, you've got your own music sorted out on your iPhone, your iPad, your laptop, whatever it is, you've got your own music, but you just need some speakers to connect it to, this is what this is ideal for. With a cable like this, and again, all the cables are given to you when you come to hire, a cable like this will go into the headphone socket of, let's say, for example, an iPhone. The other end of the cable, this red and white cable here, have a guess where that goes. You're right, it goes into the red and white sockets. By the way, it doesn't matter which way it goes round, and just for the hell of it, I'm doing it the wrong way around, because it doesn't make any difference, so it's good for you to know that. So that's its input. This is the volume control for that input. So what you want to do is set that to half, or just over half, and then run the volume from your phone. So you're not coming and fiddling behind the speaker all the time. If you want to make music louder or lower, you just go to your phone and just do the up and down on that and it sounds really good, and you'll be up and running in no time with that. So that's the scenario there of, of just wanting background or just music for a small party. You can, if you wish, add a microphone to this. So you can hire a microphone, it can plug into there, and if you wanted to make a quick speech or sing happy birthday or something at the party, you can plug a microphone in there, it has its own volume, and you can use that to make presentations as well. You could turn the music down on there or down on your phone and talk on your microphone. So that's really good. Now let's say now we're, we're wanting these for a wedding. So you've decided not to have a DJ. You've sorted all your music out yourself. You've got your playlist all done on your, on your let's say a MacBook now, but it makes no difference but you need a good sound system to connect it to. These will do that for you. Now, if there's a wedding and you've got quite a few guests, rather than have the one speaker, you're better off with two. It's twice as good. So, what we would do in that situation, let me just grab some different cables now. We'll start with this cable here. So this is going to go into your MacBook and it's got all your music on it. The other end of this cable brings us to, to these two XLRs. These are in effect a left and a right, or channel one, channel two. It makes, makes no difference, but that's your left and your right of your music. So obviously this is just a short cable. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put some distance between the speakers, especially if it's a wedding and you've got a dance floor. You, you want a speaker either side of the dance floor, ideally. So you'll be given cables when you come to hire and cables are all part of the hire. So this is male. And that male, see this lead here, look. This is about a five, six meter cable. I'm going to put this male here into this female. And then this male here is what's going to go into this speaker. Like so. So, I will set the volume about halfway on that, so if you can see that, that's the volume for that channel. So I'll set that about halfway or maybe just a little bit after, about five pass is what I would do. And now I need to connect my music source to the next speaker. So again, this, this is, we're not worrying about this, this is all in place, that's already in the MacBook. We just now need to get another one of those cables that we just happen to have here. Again, it's a five, six meter cable. And I'm going to plug this male into the female of this one and basically you know, treat that as a, as, a, as a six meter extension to go to the next speaker, which is here. And that's also going to come in here. It's going 
Good, push in there. Now we set the volume for the other one about five pass. So we're going to do the same for this one. Set that for five pass. So the speakers then are equal. And just like before, we're going to adjust the, the level then from your MacBook. So you're not having to come to each speaker and mess around with the level. You're just going to do it all from your MacBook. And that is a really, really good system. Between the two speakers then, that's going to give you 1,000 watts. And they are really, really great sounding speakers. So it's great for that. Just a quick another scenario. You're getting married. You know somebody who DJs. He's got his own decks, for example, or his own mixer, his own CD players. But he doesn't have any speakers. Again, we'll use these for in that scenario. We'll give you slightly different cabling. We'll ask you what mixer does the DJ have or what connections does he have. And you'll find out from him or we can speak to him. And we'll give you the correct cables to go from his decks to these speakers. And again, for DJ, really, really good. You could also use these for a band. So let's say we've got a band. We've got a band coming, but they haven't got their own PA. We could supply a mixer for the band and hook these speakers up to the mixer. Also very good. So basically what they're saying is these speakers are extremely versatile and they've got many, many different uses from one speaker to a pair, to a, a, a DJ, to a band. Oh, and one other thing is I almost forgot. If you're in a band and you've already got your own PA, but you need a monitor, you need to make fantastic monitors because they wedge. Look at that. So you can put that on the floor like it is there, and you can use that as a vocal monitor or whatever kind of monitor you want from within your band. So simply go from the band mixer into here. And finally, when you do hire a pair of these, you do get free stands. That's what your stand looks like. So it's a tripod stand. And what we would do, is if you look at the base of the speaker, or the bottom of the speaker, got that hole there. And what we're going to do is just going to put it onto there. So it goes up, we drop it onto it, like so. You would probably have it a little bit higher than that, but not much. Generally speaking, you want the speaker about head height. And then you just pretty much point it in the direction of where you want it to go. So if the dance floor was over here, I'd have this coming towards the dance floor. Now the other speaker, I would have over here, also coming into the dance floor. So I'll send the speakers diagonally into the dance floor. And it's as simple as that. And they really are good sounding speakers, and that's your Mackie 450s.